well today i welcome you all to uh, the session of uh, fins or extended surfaces in heat transfer so in heat transfer the application of fins are very wide so it is also called as extended surfaces so let us uh, discuss about how the heat is transferred through fins or extended surfaces so let us see in this session extended surfaces more natural see extended surfaces are available already it is not a new concept it is available in uh, naturally birds mammals in animals uh, reptiles like high steady body temperatures just as mammals and boats so they have sophisticated ways to manage flow of flows of heat between their bodies and environment so uh, many animals uh, naturally have fins if you take fish fish is having fins fins are not only for used uh, not only used for swimming purpose it is also uh, used for the purpose of <coughs> uh, transfer the heat from the body to the environment and uh, these fins are allowing animals with crusts to heat their bodies up to high temperatures much faster than the animals without them so now an optimum body size is essential for the ability to regulate the body temperature by blood bond heat exchange the general thing is in naturally uh, all the animals uh, have fins so uh, this fins are uh, used fins are used for transferring the heat uh, from the body to the animal body to the uh, environment so for animals in air this optimum size is little over 5 kg for animals living in water the optimum size is much larger on on the order of uh, 100 kg so this may explain why large reptiles uh, today are largely aquatic and terrestrial reptiles are smaller if you see terrestrial reptiles are smaller aquatic uh, uh, organisms are much larger see now you are seeing two pictures but both are having fins to transfer the heat the second picture is uh, looks like um, uh, dinosaur uh, it was not uh, uh, in this generation previous generation it was there this reptile the first uh, in first picture we are seeing fins so these are all external surfaces used for the purpose of uh, heat transfer and further typical applications area are radiation for automobiles air cooling of cylinder head of ic engines economizers of steam power plant economizers are used to transfer the heat from the feed water uh, uh, transfer the heat from flue gases to the feed water uh, so it is a kind of heat exchanger there the external surfaces are applicable heat exchangers are wide variety cooling of electric motors cooling of electronic equipments so these are all typical applications fins are extended surfaces generally used to enhance the heat transfer from given surface i already told you nowadays we are going towards miniaturization and uh, we are having a lot of challenge when you are going for miniaturization of uh, electronic equipments or gadgets we are in the cha challenge to transfer more or to liberate more amount of heat in a small area you take mobile if you want to make this manufacture a small mobile or slim mobile we are having the challenge in a small area we need to transfer the heat in small area the large amount of heat is to be liberated so that is a challenge so for that we this extended surfaces are used a surface losing the heat of, to the surroundings by convection by q is equal to ha into ts minus ta so h is heat transfer coefficient a is the surface area ts is the wall temperature of solid body a is the ta is atmospheric temperature or air temperature we can use t infinity also to 
increase uh, Q. So, increase the potential temperature potential, the difference we need to increase T s minus T a. So, to increase heat transfer coefficient, we can increase the heat transfer. Uh, increase the surface area. So, increase the surface area generally use the method for extending the surfaces. So, this is the concept why uh, heat is increased by increasing surface area. This Q is equal to H A T S minus T A is a is also called as Newton's law of cooling. There are uh, many types of fins uh, or extended surfaces available or used. Uh, you are seeing there are many variety of fins. The now we are seeing this is this the two uh, fins shows uh, radial fins or circular fins. It's also called as Annular, annular fins. So, the next one is fin fins. Fin fins also different varieties. So, this is uh, uniform cross section, this is variable cross section occurred uh, along with the length, this is hyperbolic variations. After that, longitudinal spins or st stripes. See, there are uh, this is, is called rectangular longitudinal fin, this is called spine. There are many rectangular fins around a cylinder. This is triangular, this is uh, hyperbolic. <coughs> so, there are different uh, uh, fins are available to transfer the heat. Uh, nowadays, uh, many researches have been done or going on uh, to find the innovative fin designs. There are many designs, very recently, uh, different uh, types of shape of the fins used for thermal energy energy systems. So, uh, many researches are going on uh, to find the innovative design of fins in very small area it should be accommodated. Today's uh, outcomes introduction to fins, heat conduction through infinitely long fin. There are uh, uh, many, uh, three cases in fins uh, uh, consideration. Uh, in that first case is infinitely a long fin, uh, because when we deriving the governing equation for uh, rectangular fin, uh, three consideration, consideration will come. One is long fin, another one is short fin with end insulated, uh, then short fin with end not insulated. So, let us see what are all the uh, things. Introduction fins are used to increase the amount of heat transfer by increasing the heat transfer surface. Fins are also called as extended surfaces. Finned surfaces are extensively used in economizers in a steam power plant, convectors for a steam hot water, uh, water heating system, radiators and automobiles, air cooled engine cylinder heads, cooling coils and condenser coils in refrigerators and air conditioners. Small capacity compressors, electric motor bodies, you may see fins, electric motor bodies and transformers and electronic cooling equipments. So, the, the applications are very larger. In many areas, the fins are used. The common fin configuration, already we have seen this other uh, uh, drawing of uh, fin configurations. Uh, we are seeing triangular fin, uh, rectangular fin, triangular fin, spine, annular and fin fin. This one is rectangular, triangular, spines, annular, annular, annular fins, fin fins. So, next uh, analysis of fins. When you are analyzing fins, that means when we derive uh, governing equation for fins, following assumptions have been made. One is the uh, steady state heat conduction. The conduction is considered as steady state. We should consider there is no heat generation inside the fin. And the heat transfer coefficient is uniform. It should be considered as uni uniform along the length of the fin. Then homogeneous and isotropic fin material. 
homogeneous isotropy that means the thermal conductivity of a material is constant throughout the material in all the directions and a negligible thermal resistance negligible thermal resistance heat conduction uh, is considered to be one dimensional only we are considering x direction okay negligible radiation there is no radiation uh, in the analysis so this is the uh, heat flow through rectangular fin uh, just let us uh, uh, draw a new diagram and let us uh, derive the <coughs> governing equation for uh, rectangular fin so now i can draw a rectangular fin diagram so assume this is a base so base of the fin assume the temperature of the base is tb and this is the rectangular fin we are going to consider so this is the base so consider the length of the fin should be l it should be l thickness should be t thickness should be t and width of the fin should be w so length l t thickness w so when you go for cross section of uh, fin suppose if this is the area of cross section so area of cross section is equal to uh, w into thickness if i want to find the perimeter of the fin 2 into w plus 2 into thickness or 2 into w plus t so 2 into w plus t and for uh, actually for uh, deriving uh, governing equation for rectangular fin we considered here rectangular fin so in this assume a elemental strip with the thickness of dx in the direction of x suppose this is the x direction in the x direction i am just considering dx thickness of a strip so this is the strip with dx thickness so here uh, <coughs> uh, consider the heat is conducted in this direction so heat conducted because heat is conducted from the base to the fin in x direction so assume qx is amount of heat conducted into the element and we keep qx plus dx is heat conducted out of the element okay then the heat conducted into the element it it will be coming out after dx as well as heat is conducted as convection so large amount of heat also going as convection so when you do heat balance when you do heat balance in the strip so qx that is heat strip elemental strip it is elemental strip heat conductor into the element is equal to heat conductor out of the element out of the 
polymer plus heat converted, heat due to convection or heat transfer due to convection. Okay. So, now the amount of heat conducted into the element already we kept as q x is equal to heat conducted out of the element q x plus t x plus the amount of heat convected we can keep as q c o and v q convected. Now, q x according to the Fourier law of heat conduction we can take q x is equal to minus k a into d t by d x. Okay. d t by d x is equal to we can write this q x plus d x as uh, q x plus d by d x of q x into d x plus q convection we can write it as because this is according to k a d t by d x according to the Fourier law of heat conduction. Q convection according to Newton's law of cooling I can write heat transfer into surface area T minus T infinity or we can write uh, T w that is uh, temperature of the fin T w. So, temperature of the fin we can keep as T also not issue. So, now minus K a d t by d x is equal to again instead of q x I can write minus k into d t by d x plus uh, d by d x of q x is nothing but minus k into d t by d x into d x plus plus H A into T W minus T infinite. Okay. This K A into D T by D X we can cancel it. So, you can bring this term, this term here, this side we can bring. So, it becomes when I take k into a, k a outside minus k a then d square t by d x square it becomes because the multiply it comes into d x is equal to h a t w minus t infinity. So, it comes like that. So, let us go to next slide. I will just repeat the same thing minus k a so minus k a into t square t by d x square see you can see the previous equation minus k a d square t by d x square into d x is equal to h a into t w minus t infinity. So, into d x is equal to h a to t w minus t infinity. So, now we can rearrange the equation d square t by d x square Now, one more thing here area can be rewritten as area can be area it is nothing but surface area 
This can be rewritten as perimeter into length, length of the strip. That is length of the strip is dx, p is the perimeter of uh, the strip, the elemental strip. So, I can write actually I can write here instead of h, h into p dx instead of surface area I am writing p dx. So, what happen this dx dx we can cancel. So, automatically the remaining things h p by k a into t w minus t infinity. So, I can rewrite the equation as t d square t by d x square minus h p by k a into t w minus t infinity is equal to 0. You keep m square is equal to h p k a then I can write it as d square t by d x square. So, m, m is equal to minus this should be m, m square. If I keep m square is equal to h b by k a, then m is equal to square root of h b by k a into t w minus t infinity is equal to 0. So, this is the governing equation, differential equation for fins. So, by solving this governing equation, we can find the temperature distribution and heat transfer for different types of fins. Actually, there are uh, three cases we are considering. Case 1 for uh, solving this differential equation, case 1 should be the fin is very long, long fin. If you assume the fin is long, very long, long fin, 